And scientists in East Yorkshire are at the forefront of work to tackle water pollution. Researchers at the University of Hull have teamed up with dozens of volunteers who are checking the waterways for the signs of harmful chemicals. It comes as figures show that only 14% of rivers in England meet the current targets for good water quality. Here's our environment correspondent, Paul Murphy. Pocklington Canal is one of dozens of waterways that are being sampled and today scientists are on the lookout for a chemical called phosphate. It's okay in small quantities but can harm river life if there's too much of it. A specially designed paper indicator changes colour if that's the case. Phosphates are, are, are one of the starting points. Uh, it, it's really obvious how they affect the rivers as well because you end up with these blankets of weeds. But we're also interested in a whole load of, of what are termed watch list chemicals. And those watch list chemical names might not be familiar but they can be found in everything from toothpaste to hand washers, painkillers to pills. Water companies sometimes struggle to filter them out and they end up in our rivers. And there are growing concerns about river water quality. In its latest assessment, the Worldwide Fund for Nature says an ambition to have three quarters of rivers classified as healthy by the year 2027 is very unlikely to be met. For scientists though, getting enough high quality pollution data is the big challenge. And that's where volunteers like Tim and Lucy play their part. I've probably done about uh, 25, 30 of these um, and all up and down the Pocklington Canal. The water sample info is entered into a phone app. We get three minutes for the test pad to do its thing and then uh, we'll all take a picture and um, get the results. So that's time up now. And that data, including precise location and imagery, is automatically sent back to Hull University. So with all the data points, we create a map that shows each individual data point, so every sample that a volunteer has collected, and then it shows the results and the different information that we gathered on that day. Fundamentally, this project wants to raise public awareness, especially when our waterways are often the final destination for chemicals we all dispose of. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North on Pocklington Canal. Beautiful picture.